Hey, good evening, Cristina. Good evening, Nazario. How are you? Good evening, teacher. So good. And you? Good, good. Ready to finish our week. I can't imagine it's only four more days and we finish. Yeah, um, this, is the, this is the third week. Super fast, right? Yeah, so fast. Hi, Cristina. Well, Hi, how are you? Thanks. Wonderful, good to hear you. Um, okay, no problem, Cristina. Let's see, mejor. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Bla. Ah, también Blanca de Oyente. All right, Nazario. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I feel so terrible, too. I have, a, too. I have a sore throat. Are you taking any medicine? Yeah, I went to the to the Seguro Social. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Cetaminophen. Cetaminophen and chlorpheniramina, uh, antibiotic. But I feel so I feel so terrible. But it's okay. Class is so important for me. Okay, I'm glad that you connect. And it's Friday. It's only one hour, and then yeah, you it's true. Relax. It's no problem. Yeah, the next week is the top of the mm -hmm. this level, tissue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's almost the end. Yeah. All right, so Nasario, um, let's take a look. Uh, what are you gonna do this weekend? What are your plans for Saturday, Sunday, Mother's Day? I don't know if you have any plans you're gonna celebrate this weekend. Well, to be honest with you, tomorrow I I, I have to rest, take a rest. I feel I feel so bad. Uh, maybe on some on Sunday, go out with my family and to to eat uh, maybe a good lunch or dinner or maybe go to the beach i'm not sure or on the river maybe i'm not sure that's nice that's yeah nice. uh -huh. we are making the plans just right now yeah. when my wife returned to the church maybe talk okay. about about the this topic mm -hmm. yeah this is for for weekend maybe and for the next week mother's days I don't have an, uh, any plans just right now, but I want I want to talk with my with my siblings, yeah, and prepare a, maybe a lunch or a dinner for for his mother. Okay. Yeah, it's wow. a great it's a wonderful day. Yeah. My mother is my mother is in the sky, but I think that it's so important to celebrate to all the women uh, because they are so special for us. Uh, on the woman in the world yeah let's find out with carla carla what are you going to do this weekend hi teacher sorry okay um i don't know um tomorrow um in the morning, uh, I go to the supermarket, and, and in the evening, I don't know, maybe uh, I go to the lake with um, lake Captain Morgan. Captain Morgan? Yep. Yeah, yeah I know Captain Morgan, the, the tiki bar. Yeah, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. I go to my husband and friends. Okay, all right. And and uh, in the afternoon, uh, I have a um, meet uh, in the school uh, for my children. Okay, okay. And and how are you going to celebrate Mother's Day? Are you going to celebrate it this weekend? Not um, celebrate or um. ¿Cómo se dice eh, el domingo antepasado? El domingo uh, pasado. Two Sundays ago. Ok. Two Sundays ago, eh, I celebrate eh, eh, the, this day with my eh, grandmother. Oh, ok. Yeah, because eh, the same for Nazario, eh, my mother is in, in the sky. 
Mm. And then uh, this day, uh, I don't know. It's not easy for us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's, I don't know. Yeah. The same, my mother's in the sky, but this, uh, I celebrated last weekend for my wife for Mother's Day. Yeah. Wonderful. Me too, me too. But this day, uh, I prefer go to the um, um, cemetery, I don't know. Cemetery? Cemetery. Okay. With my children and my grandmother. Okay, good. To, to leave a rose. Yeah. Mm. All right. Well, very good. That is part of today's grammar. Today's grammar in today's class is exactly this. We're going to be talking about in listening to conversations about making future plans. We're going to be looking at future plans like Saturday, Sunday, or more into the future. We're going to be using the present continuous, and we're going to be using going to. So we're going to use two different grammar tenses, present continuous, and going to, to talk about the future. In this moment, we're going to watch a small video about how to talk about making plans. Hi, ready to start? This demo study future tense. Please pay attention to the conversation we're about to play. As you listen to it, try to identify the two ways to express a future plan. Remember, you may listen to the conversation as many times as you need to. Making plans. Part A. Listen and practice. Say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I'd love to, but I can't. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay. Afterward, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. Okay, so we can see that is a couple of issues there. Okay, let's take a look at the conversation. Are there first any words you don't know? Anything that you're not sure about? Oh, this is for me. I think that is okay. Okay. Anybody else? I think that author. I think that author. Author word is the uh, the activity that you can do after uh, to complete uh, once maybe. For example, tomorrow from five is I'm going to work until five. Let's go around six. After work, after all, maybe. Yes, afterward is after the activity. Yeah. So, uh, today we have class. Afterward, I'm afterward, going to work. I'm going to a dinner. Yeah, I got the idea. That's right. This is after the activity. Yeah. Okay. Good. So here you can see we are using uh, future tenses like what are you doing? I am going. Uh, many different ways for different forms to talk about it. Now, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. So the same. Uh, where are you going or other actions, but always with ing. In this moment, we're going to practice a conversation with our partners. One time we're going to be Lynn, and one time we're going to be giving Miguel, and then we only change roles. So we're going to practice being Lynn and Miguel, and then we're going to practice using them. Okay. So let's take a moment, very quick, only a few moments with our partners to make sure that we have it. Let me have. Let me put that one there and here. Okay, so let's take just a few moments. We're gonna have in groups of three, that way you can practice and let's go for it.
Okay. Any questions for pronunciation or any words? No, everything was okay? Yes. All right. Let's listen to make sure then. Let me hear. All right. Nazario, Carla. All right. Carla Ling, Nazario Miguel. Go ahead. Okay, teacher. Uh, say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I'm going to a soccer match with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything special tomorrow? We could we we could go down. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. All right, very nice. Um, Rodrigo, Carla. Okay, Rodrigo, Lynn, Carla, Miguel. Okay. Me, teacher, or the other Carla? <laughs> oh, no, the, only you. The other Carla not here. Oh, oh my God. Mm -hmm. uh, Miguel? Or uh, Lynn? Sorry. Carla is Miguel. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Uh, say, Miguel, what are you doing tonight? Uh, do you want to go bowling? I love to, but I can. I'm going to go a soccer match uh, with my brother. Oh, well, maybe some other time. Are you doing anything tomorrow? We could go then. Tomorrow sounds fine. I'm going to work until five. So let's go around six. Okay, after work, maybe we can get some dinner. Sounds great. All right, very nice. Good job. Sure. So I, yes. I, I, I had a doubt in the first line. Uh, Lynn say, say Miguel, it's not hi Miguel, it's not a mistake, or maybe. Oh, no, 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 it's not. It's it, okay. It's kind of like, what's up, Miguel? Oh, that's right. Uh -huh. Or how's it going, Miguel? Only here is, say Miguel. Mm -hmm. That's right, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's take a look. Well, maybe some other time. Are you doing? Here we have. Now we're going to learn how to use them with the present continuous and going to. It's very easy to use, but it's important that we have the correct grammar so that we understand the difference between going to and present continuous. Hi, so are you ready to talk about future plans? Good for you. I want you to take notes as you listen to the audio program and don't go as we list and explain the use of future with present continuous and the use of future with be going to. Page 101. Exercise 3. Grammar focus. Future with present continuous and be going to. With present continuous. What are you doing tonight? I'm going to a soccer match. Are you doing anything tomorrow? No, I'm not. With be going to plus verb. What is she going to do tomorrow? She's going to work until five. Are they going to go bowling? Yes, they are. As you could see, we have two possible ways to express future. We may use present continuous as well as be going to to talk about it. It is important to know that we may use present continuous and be going to when we plan actions in the future. Also, when we're certain that something is going to happen in the future. We want you to know as well that when we predict, we do not use present continuous, instead we use be going to. Read the examples with me. Be going to, to make predictions. Watch out, you're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now, Okay, so the most important from that is the difference, um, and the main difference is just when you see something, when something's oh, you think is going to happen because there's going to be an accident or you're going to have something, then you're just going to use going to, okay? Oh, the car is going to crash or the person is going to die. This is the idea, no ing, okay? That's the main idea for that part. You're going to break the glass. It's so cloudy, I think it's going to rain. Now let's go over the form of present continuous. Subject plus verb to be 
um, or is plus a verb plus ing. Examples, she's watching a movie. They're going to the concert. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and the verb plus ing. This is the form when using be going to. Subject plus verb to be, um, are, is, plus going to, plus infinitive verb. Examples, I am going to play handball. He's going to cook. These are the steps to follow when making an affirmative statement. And if the statement is negative, we add the word not between be and going to. And when you want to ask a friend or a relative about their plans, you may do so by asking using a WH question word like this. WH question word plus be plus subject plus verb plus ing plus complement and question mark. And here the most important is that it's the same thing. In questions, when you use ing or going to is the same idea. But if you use going to, the verb is in base form. So as you look at the example, where are you celebrating your graduation? And then with going to, where are you going to celebrate your graduation? The only difference is if you use going to, the verb normal. If no going to, you have to use the verb with ing. That's really what they are trying to explain to you in that part. Where are you celebrating your graduation? What is he doing tonight? Remember, your WH question word will depend on what you want to know. Or you may ask like this, WH question word plus B plus subject plus going to plus infinitive verb plus complement and question mark. Where are you going to celebrate your graduation? What is he going to do tonight? Either question is correct. Now that you have listened to the audio program and the explanation, we want you to go over and learn these time expressions. This will help you to give more information when giving an answer. Time expressions. Tonight. Tomorrow. On Friday. This weekend. Next week. Can you share with us what you're going to do this weekend? Write your plans in our discussion box. Okay. So we already had a little bit about the idea. The most examples with me is that we are clear on how to use it. You can use it with the present continuous. You can use any verb with ing. Okay. It's not necessary only to be going. Uh, going to is the future. Not, but it's not necessary only doing. Uh, you can put, what are you eating tonight? What are you watching? What are you listening to next week? The expressions that we use are all of the ones that time expressions are all of the ones that refer to the future. There, they have some very basic ones like tonight, tomorrow, on Friday, this weekend, and next week. But also, you can also use events. As an example, what are you doing after class? It's a time expression. What are you doing next month? Okay. What are you doing on Mother's Day? Okay. So you can use events also to describe them. That's the most important part. It's okay. The idea for describing future tense, the two forms, it's clear. It's clear. Okay. Thank you, Jonathan. All right, great. So we're going to practice very easy. We're going to practice talking about the future. Today, we're going to be discussing a lot of different events in the future. Let's see if we can make a few groups so that we can get a few more people in here. Okay. So we have Jonathan, Carla. Okay. We have the other Carla Oriente. We have Blanca Oriente. We have Luz. Okay. So in this case, we're going to make it a little bit easier and we're going to get two groups because we don't have a lot of people today i'm going to give you some links and we're going to practice hang on i'll put the links into the chat remember please open the links before you go to the groups because when you go to the groups then you lose the links okay as you can see the topic for today our future you can choose any of the links that you feel comfortable with 
discussing, but the topic is going to be the future, only there are going to be different questions about the future. And some of them is going to be about technology, others is going to be about aliens, the others is going to be tourism, for example, will space tourism happen in the future, whatever you and your partners want to discuss. But we are going to use going to or the present continuous for future. And of course, will is also correct because will is also an idea for the future. Okay. Do you have the links? Are you ready to proceed? Yeah, I share with the group of WhatsApp. Ah, thank you, Jonathan. It's much Great easier. The group. Yeah, many people, yes. Okay, so we go with our partners. Remember, do not share the screen. Do not share the screen. The partner has to understand you. You have to speak clearly. That is the most important part. Yes? All right. Luisana, Cristina, do you have problems connecting? Ever? Okay, Luisana, ever? I know Carla's driving, so it's not a problem. Uh, she's just listening, but let's try it.
Okay. So, how are we? We're good. Any questions? Any vocabulary? According to the three links, there are a lot of vocabulary teacher, a lot of things that we can discuss. Uh, but one of the most uh, attractive thing for me is the question, uh, what do you hope for the future? This is so, this is so beautiful. And we, we was talking with Rodrigo about this kind of topic. Yeah. And the, and, and the Rodrigo future maybe is get married. Teacher. Get married, wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. And have children. Or only get married, Rodrigo? Sorry? Only get married or get married and have children? Uh, only get married. Okay, all right. Uh, with your girlfriend or a different girlfriend? With both. <laughs> <laughs> Rodrigo said that she want to visit Spain. Okay. This is one of the topics that be we Be careful, Rodrigo, because yeah. I know the girlfriend. Wow, man. <laughs> Hang up. I hope to going to visit Spain with my girlfriend. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> uh, because that? I consider... Did you actually have a girlfriend? Place. Go to the camp now, please, Rodrigo. Mm. And, and send, send me a picture. And send me a picture, please. <laughs> That's right. Sorry. Do you know the girlfriend? Do you know? Yeah. The... Really? Yeah. Because uh, we uh, work in the same uh, place. You and Rodrigo or you and the girlfriend? Rodrigo and girlfriend and me. The three? Yep. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, Rodrigo. <laughs> Uh -huh. That's why it was very Carmen. quiet, very quiet. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, last. <laughs> Take care, please. Because I have uh, defend the girlfriend. The girlfriend. Yeah, that's, that's right. Yeah. Wonderful. Exactly. Yeah. And you, Carla, what do you hope for the future? I don't know. I I I will uh, to travel for the work, but uh, in my case, it's uh, maybe. It's, uh, too difficult because when I have a children, it's more expensive to, to think for the future in this case. Um, but maybe. Do you have Tyler? Yep. So how, many, how many children do you have? One. And I don't know. I don't. I don't have. It's the top. <laughs> One more. <laughs> Okay, and your husband, he wants more children. Uh, no. No. Um, it's, it's um, we have uh, um, two dogs and three turtles <laughs> and one parrot. Okay. Only that. And that's enough. Yeah. Do you but, like, uh, do you like wife, wildlife, Carla? I, my think, house, I think so. My house is is um I love wife wildlife. Yeah. Okay, all right. And what about you, Nasario? What do you hope for the future? Well, the the first step that I have in my mind, to be honest with you, uh, is to complete this plan and in a better future, maybe I'm not sure, maybe in one year, uh, complete the, the the final label of English class, and maybe take the the TOEFL test. And I I'm trying to work uh, about that. I know that it's not easy the, the way, but I have to go step by step. This is one of the 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 better plans for me for for my future. Uh, be full bilingual teacher, and maybe after the the after the the English, I'm going to be start with another language. But I don't I don't I don't know really which one I want to select. I'm working in that. All right. Yeah. 
Interesting, interesting. Do you want to use the other language uh, for your job or business or only to learn another language? It's, it's, it's a personal world teacher. Uh, and maybe I think that uh, everything that I do is going to help me. Uh, and so uh, it's a personal world. And I think that it's so important. And it's the, nowadays, I think that it's, uh, it's a good idea to invest uh, the time in, in good things, teacher. I think so. Yeah. Okay. Now right. we have we have in the palm of, of our arm uh, the, the work. Yeah, in a device, in a single device like the telephone, and we can use uh, different channels in order to improve our life or the positive. I don't know. It's one selection. Yeah, it's a choice, right? You, a choice. You decide how to use the technology. You can use, yeah. for example, like you, use online and study and learn English or another language or choose for other things. Not yeah. for TikTok and waste the time yeah. YouTube. Future can be can be good or can be wrong. Well, excellent. Yeah. Great. Now we're going to go back to our groups. And this is the idea. The idea is use your English to have a conversation. Not only answer the question. The question helps you to begin the conversation. But your vocabulary and your ability is what continues the conversation. Okay. Um, I think, Carla, are you singing or did you want to speak? Carla Eugenia. I think Carla Eugenia was singing, right? In the car. Uh-huh. I see her. I see the mouth moving. And she's like, I love music. I love driving. Friday is a great, I think. I don't know, but I imagine, right? Yeah. Okay. I think maybe she got stuck there. Okay. Don't worry. All right. So let's go ahead and let's make our groups again. We're going to have uh, a few different partners. The idea is you decide which one do you want to talk about, right? Uh, let me make sure we have a couple oyentes. It's a little bit more difficult, but let's see. We'll put them all together. Okay. And then we'll go like this. No, no, I
live okay. I was I live in El Portezuelo City you know ah. it's close to close to El Brasil close to El Brasil yeah. yeah and you I live in the middle of the center Santa Ana I live for the um, um the hospital which, which avenue which avenue Avenue on the street, tell me the address. Um, 15. 15 Avenue, between, yeah. between, between, between 11 and 13, between 11 and 13, uh, yeah. or 11 or, or 9? No, 11 and 13. Ah, that's wonderful. Yeah. Are you living in Santa Cruz neighborhood, Carla? Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. you, you you live close to Los Mormones Church? In the, ¿cómo se dice la siguiente cuadra? Next to the... Next, next block. Next, next block. block. Yeah. Next block. Yeah. Ah, I think that is, is the 17th Avenue. 17th Avenue. No. Or, or 19th Avenue. 19th, maybe. I don't know. I, I know. I think that is 19th Avenue. Uh -huh. I know uh -huh. for Avenue. You, yeah. lost, you lost for Avenue? Only you know. Salvadorian. Ah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Using my job, I have to know. Oh, where, in front yeah. of Tienda Lupita, yeah. maybe. <laughs> close to the Palo de Mango. Yeah. Close to the Conacaste. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I live uh, uh, near for the my job. You close to your job? You yeah. travel maybe 50 maybe, minutes? Maybe uh, in 10 minutes? I, I you got, ride you ride a bus or drive your own car? Um, I have a licencia. Driver license. Yeah, but I I am miedosa. I don't know. Afraid. Yeah. I'm, 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 afraid. I'm be afraid. I'm be afraid I'm to afraid drive be, because. Estonia. Victoria. Yeah, some some beaches at the the Finland, the sun is color black, and the effect is so so beautiful because the 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 charm and uh, it's a uh, con it's a uh, a uh, frost con no 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 the I don't remember the frío oh cold cold winter in this in these countries it's a reason to why i learn english because i think it's easier to talk to people around the world for example if i dream if i travel to finland i can talk with the the viking the vikings of this country i know with with this and they tell me about his country or the Balkan culture, and I can tell you about with our culture, the people, like I get I but because I like the battles, honor, the weapons, and the difference. But in in the in this case, it's some some about us. My dream is is like a talk about another people's for our cultures and the tastes for example for the music video games the clothes yeah and the food in this case i am struck by by the history of regional words for example uh, Bosnia Herzegovina and Serbia. Oh. Uh, and, uh, I don't know so much. The ancient, the ancient Yugoslavia. Oh. Um, it's a little uh, countries, but I hope I hope travel, only... travel oh. uh, right? Yeah, at these countries you want to travel. I just want to go. Oh, it's so interesting. Um, other other country, for example, um, 
ancient. Do you like uh, German? To see a band, so, so, for so, so by the music, for example, Halloween, Gamma oh, Ray. Yeah. Uh, I love the song of Halloween uh, from this this album, Pumpkin Tonight, and another song, It's Better Day. I love this music for a go years, and it's a dream if I visit a concert at this band. In, an, in his mm -hmm. owner country, in this case, is Germany. And another band, Remstein, is Germany right. about this. In my case, if I could fly. Uh, the, to Halloween. To Halloween, right. Oh, I can, song, I hear, I remember, I remember hear this song. What kind I of remember, music is this? What? What kind of music is like rock music or I metal music, heavy metal, metal oh, music, metal music. Metal music. Uh, yeah. metal music. We talk metal about metal. this because right. I talk to my dream is travel to Finland. In Finland, it's uh, the born of the power metal. Okay. For example, in in my case, I love Sonar Arctica um, <laughs> from another new band called brothers of metal and another band for example band for female Sabato, voices for example July, like a epica nightwish epica. okay did you like did you like uh, avantasia avantasia i i remember like uh, another band from America. I don't remember if Avantasia is. Uh, yes, but I work nine, nine hours. I work from Same. 7 a.m. to 4 p.m. Nine hours. Yes, okay, uh, from so, um... Monday to Friday. And the weekend only work four hours. Four hours on weekend? Yes. Saturday uh, and Sunday. Because, because you have a uh, 44 uh, in your uh, journal. In my case, hours, hours. Yeah, in my case, uh, I have uh, to work 10 hours. 10 hours. Yeah. But only, only weekday. Uh, por, le puedo explicar porque no sé cómo explicarlo en, en, en inglés ahí. ahí. No, lo que pasa es que por eso. Is, is, no, no, no. no. Teacher is with the no, no, no. Teacher is present. Pensé que no estaba allí. No, it's now. No, it's now. Teacher, no lo vi. Pero estaba hablando en inglés, teacher. You didn't see the teacher. You can do it, Carla. You can do yeah. it. Yeah, I know. I don't know. Because, eh, Rodrigo, eh, in El Salvador, uh, for the law, uh, the, I don't know, to say, Código de Trabajo? Yeah. Uh, if you um, work um, journally maybe uh, 10 hours uh, to have a, to, to have a two days of, but if you work um, uh, journally for 44, to have uh, one day off. But, it, but I think that the, according to the law, we can complete the 44 hours weekly. Weekly. The race, the race yeah. Of the time is yeah. the free yeah. time. I think so. Rodrigo, maybe you, do you maybe have you can a, a work. journally of 44 or no? Uh, yes, my journal of week is 44. Uh, yeah. 40 in the in the weekday and four hours in weekend for the force in the in the week in general because you have a uh, eight hours for the work and one hour for the uh, take to uh, breakfast uh, yes i i uh -huh. i have a, a one hour for a lunch yeah and the hour for lunch carla is not part of the 44 hours yeah. 
is not part. Is not included. It's not part. No. Uh, uh, it's uh, eight hours uh, effective. Uh, working. Eight hours working. Yep. Okay. For so, the journal. Uh, okay. For the shift. Shift. Yep. For the shift. Okay. I, I know that the, the manpower is is weekly. And you can work 12 or 8 or 10 hours daily according to the, the boss, maybe. But uh, you have to work no. only 44 hours. Because if you, if you work um, much, much time uh, of the ship, uh, the, um, to try, the, I don't know, uh, to pay uh, the... Overtime, overtime. Yeah. Pay overtime. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I know. But in on weekend you have to work and only forty four hours. It's uh, exceptional. Uh, but in the government is different because you have to work uh, only the 40, is 40, a, 40 hours. Is a, is a, is a uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, the, come on. Yeah, the government is and there. They hope to vacation, uh -huh. <laughs> Okay, very nice. Glad to have everybody back. I see the conversations very different, very different to different groups. One group talking about the law and the labor and the different things. And the other group talking about rock, uh, Finland, heavy, yeah. uh, the death metal. And I, wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I sing at the karaoke some song like this. But my voice is so, so good to roll. So great. So strong. Yeah. Really? Yeah, really? So strong. Really? You good to roll? Yeah. Mm. No, I, 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 I am not a good singer. Uh, For I example, Serion, Serion, the Sweden. Oh, the band, Terion. It's like a symphonic combined with the metal. Great. Uh, yeah. Right. It's like a symphonic combined with the metal. Great. Very strong. Rock and culture. Mm -hmm. Very nice, very nice. Oh. Hey, Carla Eugenia, you connected at home. Finished driving. Yes, teacher. <laughs> yeah, and home. My hey, Carla, home. Do you like to sing when you are driving? Um, romantic, um, balada. Uh, For example, mana. Pop. Rap oh, music. Right. Okay. Balada um, uh, in English. Aerosmith. Aerosmith. In English, Aerosmith and I Bon Jovi. Right. Mm -hmm. And then. Okay. And today you were singing when you were driving. Yes. In, in... How do you say it? Me acompañaban. Uh, with? With and my mother and my daughter. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. And I, I saw you and I thought, hmm, o, o está súper enojada o está cantando, but blah, 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 blah. And I, <laughs> and, and I speak my mother. Oh. And I question, I, and oh, I, no. the, my day, <laughs> work okay okay hey carla are you going to celebrate this weekend with your mother for mother's day and uh, i i don't know how uh i don't in celebration my mother and uh and wednesday on Wednesday, oh, yes, it's going to and be I, very full. Yeah, usually, <laughs> and and meet my home and family, my brother, my sons, 
in uh, friends. Okay. This is better. If you celebrate, not to go out, celebrate in the house with the family. Correct. Okay. Okay. All right. Good. So I see we have a lot of different plans, different ideas, uh, different music that we have. Um, Carla likes some kind of nice, romantic, soft music. Jonathan, a little bit stronger music ever, strong music also. And Nazario and Carla, what about you? Rodrigo, what about you? What kind of music do you guys like? Carla? I like to dance. I love salsa, ah, sorry. Ah, okay, dancing. Reggaeton, reggaeton. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, reggaeton, no. I don't like reggaeton because okay. I, but I, love yes. I love salsa. I love salsa. Okay. I like music in English. Yes, I love it. Every day. Okay. And you, Nazario? I prefer to listen music in English, uh, different kind of music in English, 18, 19. Yeah, this is my there are some different kind of artists. Uh, 80s. Yeah, 80s. Yeah, 80s and 90 and different artists. Okay, all right. Yeah, yeah. for example, I like to listen musical, uh, for example, Paul McCartney, yeah, Adele, then this is more recently. Okay. Uh, Doors, BGs, yeah, and different kind of music. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, I hope everyone enjoys their weekend. Next week, we only have four classes, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, no, and then Thursday and Friday. So remember, now we are in unit five, the last part. Next week, we're going to complete it, okay? yeah excellent have a great weekend enjoy if you celebrate enjoy if not relax you need time to relax also take it easy you too all right guys good see night. you again have a nice bye. weekend see you. You bye bye good night good night, good night. Good night.